So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Medicom Toy Justice League Flash. So let's get into it right away and start off with the box. So we do get a basic style box when it comes to Mafex. So we do get that one right there on the front of the box. On the top does say DC and Justice League. On the bottom we do get an image of the figure. Then it does say Flash Action Figure Mafex number 58 and Medicom Toy. And then here is the bottom of the box with the barcode and blood bit of nobody cares about. And then here is the top of the box. And then the one side of it with a nice image of the figure at the bottom there. And then the other side of the box does have another cool image of the Flash figure. And then the back of it does show a bunch of cool poses. You can get the figure into along with some of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure over to take a closer look at this version of the Flash who has a very awkward run in this Justice League movie. Alright, so here is a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the SH Figure Arts Flash and the Mafex Flash. And I think they're both great figures. I personally can't decide which one I like more because they're both awesome figures. They both have their pros and cons just like how every figure does. So it just, it just depends on which you prefer out of the two. I do like the face sculpt a lot more on the Figure Arts. You can tell it looks more like Ezra Miller unlike the Mafex. They really need to add more paintwork on their faces because the skin tone is just way too pale. And you really can't tell it looks like Ezra Miller unless you look close up at it. I also do like the gold a lot more on the Figure Arts one. But I do like the matte and gloss finish all throughout the figure on the Mafex compared to the Figure Arts. Even though Figure Arts has it, but most of his suit just looks pretty much glossy. You know what I mean? And another thing, Mafex does have more accessories. So that is definitely a big plus. And then... Another thing with Mafex is it is more movie accurate, unlike SH Figure Arts, where they're not entirely accurate to how the character looked in the movie, while Mafex is always spot on when it comes to accuracy. So I would just say it depends on which you prefer more, Figure Arts or Mafex. But anyway, let's continue on. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and I think Mafex really did a very nice job with their Justice League Flash. I think the face does look like Ezra Miller. The only issue is it's a bit too pale and I feel like we need to add shading or something on it to bring out the likeness more of the actor. Uh, I think that was the same issue with their Justice League Superman as well because it does look like the actor. It's just their skin tone, I guess, is just too pale or something. But nice clean paint where the red meets the skin tone. The eyes are painted nice and clean looking in the same direction. I do like how throughout his suit, even on his mask, it's, you could see the gloss and the matte finish on it. And it just turned out really nice. We do get the uh, gold on the ears there, which turned out pretty good. I think they needed to add a little more gold paint on the right side of mine because the left one looks great, but the, the right one looks like it's missing. A little bit of gold paint, but we get some beautiful tiny sculpt detail all throughout the side of his mask right there. Just beautiful sculpt work, man. Same with on the back and on the neck. I love the way that piece looks. We do get the silver for like these screws or something. I think that looks really cool. And then the front of the neck turned out dope also. The torso turned out great on this figure. Beautiful sculpt and paint detail all throughout it. The symbols are nice and centered. Excellent job with that. It is sculpted on there and everything. Same with all these silver pieces. Those are all sculpted on there and certain parts of his suit has a really cool sculpted texture to it and I really dig the way it looks. And like I said, I do like how certain parts are glossy and then other parts are matted. Just like how it looked in the movie and I just love the, uh, the texture to some of the parts of the suit like up around the shoulders. And then on the side and the back there turned out really, really nice. Very nice sculpt and paint detail, man. They did an awesome job with this flash here. And then the arms turned out really good. And one thing I love that Mafex did, they finally switched to a hinge on the arm for the shoulder pads. Huge plus for Mafex for doing that. Really love that they finally switched to that. And there is like some battle damage on his suit here and there, like on the shoulder pads. I think that looks pretty cool, but nice sculpt and paintwork on the shoulder pads. Same with all on the arms, all throughout it. Beautiful sculpt and paintwork there. And then the lower portion of Flash here. Uh, the gold turned out really nice around the waist there. We do get that sculpted texture around the crotch area, as you can see. And then for the thighs there, very nice paint and sculpt work. Once again, we do get that nice sculpted texture, and we do get the glossy part of the suit on the front of the thigh, then on the rest of the thigh it is that like matted finish, then the glossy parts on the knee pad. Uh, I just like how you can see all like the tiny little screws on there, and they are all sculpted and painted as well. The knee pads turned out great. I think there's a little battle damage on uh, on the uh, the glossy thigh pieces as well. And then the lower legs, 
I did get the uh, lightning bolt piece on the uh, side of the lower leg, which turned out really good. And just nice sculpt and paint all throughout it, man. They just really did a dope job on their flesh. Then the feet, I love the way the lightning bolts look. Very nice sculpt and paint work on them. And just nice clean paint work all throughout the feet. And nice sculpt as well. And then the bottom, beautiful sculpt work. We get some sculpt work on the bottom of the feet. And then they sculpted and painted the lightning bolts. So big plus for Mefex for that. And the detail, I, I think they knocked it out of the park with their flesh they could have added a little more paintwork on the skin tone to make it look like Ezra Miller more even though the sculpt of it does they just need to add a little more paint when it comes to these face sculpts but other than that they killed it with the paint and sculpt but anyway let's continue on moving on to the accessories we'll get some cool stuff included with this flash so of course we do get a Mafex stand so it does come with the base the arm and then the clamp and it does have the basic stand articulation so we do get that then we do get two alternate heads, so we do get the masked head here, and they did a good job with it. Like I said, the skin tone needs some shading or something on it, but other than that, the uh, the detail just turned out fantastic on the masked head here. So we do get that one, and then we do get the unmasked head, which is a huge plus whenever a figure company does include a unmasked and a masked head with a superhero figure and the face sculpt does look like Ezra Miller it could have used more shading or something on it to bring the likeness out a little bit more of Ezra Miller but other than that the paints nice and clean all throughout it the sculpt turned out great eyes both painted looking in the same direction and a very nice sculpt all throughout the hair a nice clean paint where the hair color meets the skin tone but the sculpt of the hair just turned out really nice on this figure so very good job on both alternate heads and the way you swap them out you just pop it onto the ball peg to get it on and pull up to pop it right off simple as that so we do get those two alternate heads or faces and then we finally get 10 alternate hands so we do get a pair of fists of course and these don't come on the figure out of the packaging and we do have that issue once again where the peg holes are a little too tight for the peg on the wrist joint now these are the hands that come on the figure right here these open hands so they're very easy to swap on the figure but the rest of the hands are a bit scary swapping in and out because the peg hole like i said is too small for the wrist peg so you're gonna have to heat them up or either widen them somehow so me fix this back to that issue with the peg holes on the hands being a little too small for the peg on the wrist but they did a very nice job with the detail all throughout the hands here you might see a little bit of paint bleeding here and there on some of the hands but it's not horrendously bad and i do love the sculpted texture on the glove stand where the maroon meets the black uh, very nice clean paint work on that so we do get a pair of fists and then we do get a pair of open resting hands which come on the figure out of the packaging and very nice detail all throughout these once again so very good job on those and then we do get some open palm type hands here and very nice job with the detail on these once again like i said that sculpted texture on the gloves just looks sick so we do get a pair of those and then we do get a pair of karate chippity chop chop type hands once again great job with these as you can see there and then finally, we get these hands here where the index and middle finger are fully extended out while the pinky and the ring finger aren't as much. And I really like that Mefex did include these hands with Flash because he does make this gesture or does this pose a lot with his hands right here. So really glad they included these with this Flash. And they did a nice job with the paint and sculpt all throughout these hands. So that is all the accessories included with this Flash. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of Barry Allen to the very top of his head, it looks like he's a little bit over 6 inches tall. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Justice League Wonder Woman, the Justice League Flash, the Mefex Justice League Superman, and the Justice League Batman. And then here he is compared to the Mafex Armored Batman, the Dark Knight Rises Bane, the SH Figure Arts Deadshot, and the Mezco 112 Deathstroke. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero, the SH Figure Arts Madara Uchiha, the Figma Deadpool, and the Marvel Legends Cable. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku, and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now, for the articulation and Mefex worked in the Flash's movement very well on this figure. So we do have two points at the neck, the upper neck joint. You could get Flash, 
to look up a really good amount and then going down he just pretty much looks straight ahead we do get very nice pivot there as you can see really good pivot at the upper neck and then of course it does swivel the neck fits on or the head fits on the neck joint a little loose on mine as you can see there so that's a tiny little issue right there uh, the lower neck joint very good forward and back movement so with both joints flash can pretty much look directly down and then he does look up a really good amount with both joints and we do get very nice pivot at the lower neck and then of course it does swivel so excellent movement combining both those neck joints then we do get a point of articulation at the torso right under the chest and flash crunches forward pretty good with that joint it does go back decently as well then we do get very nice pivot beautiful pivot actually out of the torso and then of course we do get the swivel now the waist here does go forward and back a decent amount so going forward with both joints he crunches forward decently and going back he does go back much better you do see a little bit of a gap at the waist right there when going back uh, then we do get very nice pivot at the waist and then it does swivel now the shoulder pad pieces are on a hinge as I mentioned before and I love that Mafex did switch to that. An issue I do have with the arm joints here at the shoulders, the hinge, it's a little loose on my left one and it is a little loose on the right one. It's not as loose as this though but it does have that looseness too and I feel like it's going to get loose over time which does kind of suck but we do have a very nice joint at the shoulder here so you can get a beautiful circular motion out of the arm then we do have a butterfly joint so you can move the arms forward and you can pretty much crisscross them and you can get his arms to cross and that is something I really do like about this figure uh, the arms do go out to the sides a little more than 90 degrees so that's definitely good they do go up and down we do have bicep swivel we do have double jointed elbows that bend in all the way so that is awesome then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and inches back and forth so so far really nice movement on this flash here then the legs do drop down a little bit so flash can kick forward a little more than 90 degrees and the crotch piece is a softer rubbery type plastic so it won't hinder too much of his leg articulation then they do go back a really good amount then let's see if he can shot Claude Van Damme it and the flash let's see here almost can Jean-Claude Van Damme it actually just shy of 90 degrees so nice leg movement with the flash here then we do get an upper thigh swivel we do have double jointed knees that bend back all the way so excellent movement there then for the ankles here I believe they're on a ball peg not 100% sure on that but we do get swivel they do hinge up a tiny bit same with hinging down then we do just get a little bit of ankle pivot which I, I'm I don't like at all I wish we got better ankle pivot out of this flash here I wish we would have got uh, the type of pivot we usually get with Mafex figures I feel like they tried something new with this flash and the pivot just didn't turn out that well actually but overall other than the pivot you get some excellent articulation with this flash and you're going to pr pretty much be able to get him into any type of speedster like poses and I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway that is my review of the Mafex Justice League Flash. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10 I'd have to give it an 8.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure I did have mine imported from Japan and this figure is becoming extremely difficult to acquire and I don't think my buddy from Ageless Geeks does have any more in stock but you never know he might get some more in so you can check at Ageless Geeks or I would recommend checking their Instagram or their Facebook group. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later. there on the front of the box on the top does say GC D, G, GC almost sounded like GC instead DC Tommy
Let's get this figure up and take a look. Alright, so here's a quick side by side comparison of the SH figure arts and. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> so now, for the articulation and Mezco. What? Mezco, what the hell? I always mix up Mefex and Mezco. Just because they both begin with an M. Damn it. And the SH figure arts, Deadshot and the. The other hands are a little too small for the wrist peg on the ball hinge on the wrist. I think I'm going too much into detail.